All right, match one's down. Boy, I got my heart rate up a little bit in that, <laughs> in that match. I'll tell you what. All right, so quarterfinal win is in place. Donye Darren uh, gets to play in the semifinals tomorrow against HBU and ACU. But for now, let's talk about this. Donye, I mean, it was, it was a match that took a while to kind of SFA to get going. But with that last set being a big win, you feel like that kind of gives the team confidence going into tomorrow? Yeah, I think it definitely gave us a lot of confidence because that was us. That was us playing SFA volleyball, and we knew, like, how good we were. And when we actually showed it, we won with no problem. So, uh, I was talking to Mac before we got on camera. Took a while to kind of make some blocking adjustments. Their big right side scored a lot. Kind of talk us through that. What things did Debbie kind of adjust for you guys? Because there at the end, the blocking got a lot stronger. Um, we really had to be disciplined on the block because I think we were jumping too early and she was just tooling us when we were coming down. So we really had to, like, focus in and half block, which was, like, just getting over real quick and try to, like, get over it before she can get it over. So. You know, during the conference play, we get three or four days to rest between matches, but you got to come right back uh, tomorrow in another high-intensity match. What do you feel like teams got to kind of do to know, hey, we got to come back tomorrow, play our game from set one? Well, we just have to know that it is coming back really fast, and so we just got to go out there and play our best right out the jump. And I know we struggle with that today, but um, I think we learned our lesson, and I think we're going to come out real strong tomorrow. You'd have 15 kills today, uh, hit 452. Which particular shots did you think were open today for you? I mean, you got a lot of good looks in there, but which particular, which particular play sets did you feel like were the ones were working the best? Well, I had to learn the hard way that um, my deeper shots were open today because when I was just swinging down, they were just digging it up like it was nothing. So I really had to um, be disciplined on that and make sure that I hit my shots that I knew were like open, which were my angles, like my um, deep shots towards the line, and not um, just trying to like smash the ball on the ten foot line. There were, especially early in the match, there were a lot of wrong, long rallies too, where you had to transition over and over and over again. Do you feel like as the match went on, you were able to shorten a few things up so that you weren't moving back and forth so much in transition? Well, yeah, I felt like I had to um, really just focus in a little bit more and um, be smart with what I was doing because I didn't want to just, like, do too much and then it end up being an error or something. So, yeah. All of us have talked all year long with your first team nod for all Southland Conference and Hollis Setter of the Year and put up a triple-double again today. It, it just seems like every match that we play, Ann seems to be able to do something special. You know, I'm just glad that Ann's on my team because <laughs> she's so good, and she helps us all out because her bringing it just fires us all up. Like, oh, yeah, Ann's on it. Oh, we're on it too, you know. And her being a setter is huge because she's like our quarterback. I think it's an advantage, too, with her, with the way that we play this offense, with her hitting. She knows what – she's getting both sides of it. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's also a true statement. And it's really good that she's actually being productive, too. It's not like um, some people put their setter up there just to, like, be up there, but she's actually, like, dominating, and that's so good for us. Yeah, yeah that's a really, really good point. And last, you know, you're going to scout a little bit against ACU. Played ACU last year in the tournament. We remember that. They got wins against ACU and HBU this year. Are there any things that you sort of think about either of those two teams that you remember from when you played them before? Um, I remember ACU definitely had a big block. And I know that we're going to have to come out not trying to just swing straight down into them because we have to respect them because they will block us. Just like we will block them, they will block us. So. All right, HBU with two big middles too. So we'll see who wins this next match. ACU, HBU, Donya Darren, first team all south in conference. Hit 462 today for SFA. On to the finals, Donya. Keep it rolling. Here we go. Axel. All right, thank you.